Hey guys and welcome to a new video here on Photoshop. My name is Joseph. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I export my images for web or for social media. So I shot this image for a client who needed to upload the image onto her website and onto her Instagram and maybe Facebook. So I needed to ensure that um, I'm able to export the image in such a way that when she loads it on her website, it would be able to load easily um, due to the file size and um, especially because internet um, speeds vary from country to country and looking at the fact that the website is going to be accessible to anyone around the world I figured if it's able to load I mean the faster it loads the better for her anyway so another thing too is once I knew it was going to go onto Instagram I also didn't want to lose a lot of um, the detailing in the image I wanted to preserve as much detail as I could without Instagram doing the compressing for me and then losing all the hard work that I put into the image. So I'm going to show you how I do it. So the first thing I do is I go to um, File, come down to Export and Save for Web. Once the dialog box opens, you'd, I don't, you notice you're either in PNG or whatever format, but make sure you are set to JPEG. As soon as you change to JPEG, most of the time your quality is going to be at 100. And what I do next is to make sure I change the quality to 85. I'm gonna show you how, how this works. Then I'm gonna make sure that I am uh, set to optimized. I'm gonna embed my color profile, which is going to be the converted sRGB. So if you have it unchecked um, as well, make sure, as you can see, it turned gray and even looking at the the color boxes you can tell this one has lost a lot of color and this is what we're actually seeing and that is what we want to keep in the final image and so make sure you set the convert to srgb and after it does a conversion it's going to be it's going to be embedded in the image as well the next thing i'm going to do is change my width or the longest side in this case the landscape so the longest side is the one with the biggest value and in this case 5000 is way more than 3000 so this is going to be the longest side and I'm going to change it from 5000 to 2048. Now after changing it to 2048 this is currently set to 100% preview and so this is how it's going to be seen on the website or it's going to be seen on Instagram. This is the maximum size that it's going to look and uh, that you're going to see the image at and it doesn't look too different from um, what is already on the left hand side and I think I kind of like it but let me show you the difference between 85 and 100 and if the quality is set to 100 right my file size over here is 2.2 megabytes and that is a bit heavy especially for web so putting it to 85 ensures that I go to about 1.2 which is almost about half the size and also I get to retain as much quality as possible the last thing I'll also do or check is to make sure that my quality is set to bicubic. What I'm going to do next is just hit save. And then I'm going to choose wherever I want it to be. In this case, I'm going to put it on the desktop and or maybe I'll just create a folder. Um, so new folder, client, export, create and I'm gonna hit save. We wouldn't see anything here yet, but when I go into my desktop and then I go into client export, I have the file right here and you can see its dimension is 2048 on the longer side and the file size is 1.3 megabytes. What I'm gonna do also is go to file, go to export, go to save for web one more time. I'm going to keep the quality at 100 and I'm going to keep the file size also um, as the original which in this case is 5000 by 2000 and I'm going to hit save and I'm just going to add high res since it's uncompressed anyway and hit save. So it's going to go into the same client export folder and when I go back into my finder you notice I have two files with this being 14.2 megabytes at 5,000 by 3,000 um, and here being 1.3 megabytes at 2048. So when I 
just hit my spacebar for a zoomed version of the image and I rock back and forth between them. You can't really see a change in the image apart from the sharpness in the hair. You can't really see as much of a difference in the skin, especially as you are in the compressed version. So this is the high res, this is the compressed. So you're saving over 13 megabytes of space on your drive and also when the files are loading online. So yes, this is how I like to export my images for web. I hope you learned something new. If you enjoyed this tutorial, give it a like, thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, especially if you're new here, and I'll see you in the next video.